Jongole is State Ministry of Peace Building, in collaboration with Army Civil Affairs Division, have organized a two days round table for political leaders from Jongole and Bipur administrative area in Shiba on Wednesday. Jongole is State Minister of Peace Building. Malwal Gabriel said that round table is meant for the political leaders to retreat and adapt solutions on joint peace dissemination in Greater Jongole. This round table is meant for the political leaders to retreat and adapt matrix on joint peace dissemination, both in the counties and diaspora, so that our people can own the access and the grassroots actions for peace. The National Minister of Peace Building. Stephen Parr said it's timely and critical for the leaders to review the political situation in Greater Jongole. For the political leaders to use their influence to consolidate peace on the ground, specifically the implementation of the recently held conference in Bodo. I think that is timely. It is time to do peace. The director of Army Civil Affairs Division, Hazel Dewet, called on the South Sudanese politicians to work together for sustainable peace to prevail in the country. If the politicians, and that is why all of you today are here, do not come together and work in the interest of your people, then peacekeeping doesn't seem to be going. So it's really my very honest, my very frank, and my very direct messaging is that I think it is worth in each and every one of us to make peace. The chief administrator of Pipor administrative area, Lokoli Ami, reiterated commitment to work with the governor of Jongole estate to bring sustainable peace among the people of Greater Jongole. The first time I was appointed, I was committed that I'm going for work for unity and peace reconciliation among our people of Greater Limbo and with our neighbors. The governor of Jongole State, Dine Chakor, said his government is exerting efforts to put an end to Greater Jongole conflict. We're trying our best, and the administration in people in this area is also trying its best, but the distance, the train, and actually not having access to all of those rural areas contribute to all of these problems. Because imagine, after we disperse from here, if we can talk to everybody in Pibor, if we can talk to everybody in Jongle, then people will hear us. The leadership of Jongle Estate and Pibor Administrative Area have exchanged over 125 abducted women and children, and they are calling on the national government to deploy police in a place called Gadiang, it borders the Lonwer, Dinkabor, and the Murle. For SSBC News, I'm Emmanuel Patrick Jiva.